championships is being held on 4th September in apartheid Israel. How can honest nations cheer on their teams when they are forced to compete in a tournament hosted by an apartheid regime that has so far this year murdered more than 220 Palestinians including at least 37 children making 2023 the deadliest year for Palestinians in the West Bank since 2005. The championships are to be hosted in the occupied Palestinian city of Netanya, built on the ruins of the Palestinian village of Um Khaled. The ruins of the village stand in the shadows of the Wingate Sports Institute, where the events will take place. The indigenous Palestinian inhabitants of this area that survived are now refugees, unable to return. Meanwhile, Israel, like apartheid-era South Africa, uses sporting events to hide. It's a crime against the humanity of apartheid. Hosting an international swimming competition on colonized land, violently stolen from its Palestinian inhabitants, sport washes Israel's ongoing system of apartheid, settler colonialism against the Palestinian people. Are you young swimmers aware that they are being hosted by a country that has imprisoned 165 children and issued demolition orders for 57 schools in the occupied West Bank that will leave 6,550 Palestinians without education? A country where government ministers are proud of being fascist? and incite illegal settlers to destroy Palestinian towns and villages in violent pogroms assisted by Israel occupation forces? Swimming unions are called to demonstrate their commitment to anti-racism and genuine transformation by pulling out of the World Junior Championships and refusing to be complicit in Israeli apartheid. Thank you.